Hi, I'm Jeff Marushak. I'm a senior solutions architect at AWS. In this video, I'm going to show you how to locally import an Amazon EC2 AMI image to a Snowball Edge device. AWS Snowball, a part of the AWS Snow family, is an edge computing, data migration, and edge storage device that weighs just under 50 pounds. You can use these devices for data collection, machine learning, processing, and storage in environments with intermittent connectivity or in extremely remote locations before shipping them back to AWS. When you order a Snowball Edge device, you can choose which Amazon EC2 AMI images are to be preloaded from your AWS account. So when you receive it, you can spin up EC2 instances from those AMIs on the Snowball Edge device and proceed with your compute workloads. Now, with the ability to import your own AMI to the Snowball Edge after you've taken delivery, you now have the option to spin up your newly created or newly updated AMIs without having to send the unit back and ordering a new device. So let's go to the console and import some AMIs to a Snowball Edge device. First, here's a link to the developer guide that's gonna walk you through step-by-step step how to do this import procedure using the AWS CLI. In this video, I'm gonna show you how to do this procedure using Ops Hub. But more importantly, in this documentation is the policy and role documents and information needed to create the VM import role to do this. So the first step is to create the image. The Snow Family devices currently only support importing snapshots that are in the raw image format and between the sizes of one gigabyte and one terabyte. Here's a link to a Knowledge Center article that's going to show you how to use the VM import export utility to create a VM image from an existing AWS EC2 instance. Thing to note at the bottom of this documentation are the options to create the desired disk image format. And of course, for this procedure, we're going to need to use raw. Step two is configuring the required permissions. We're gonna to have to create a policy and a role. So in Ops Hub, we'll go to services, users and permissions, check the policies tab and hit create policy. From the documentation, we'll put a name description and we'll paste the policy content. Hit create. Now for the role, we'll choose roles, create role. Again, from the documentation, we'll put a name description. Here we can choose the policy that we just created to attach. And we can copy and paste the role policy document and hit create role. Just to be sure, we will click the role and confirm that we have attached the policy that we created in the first step. And there it is. And we're ready for step three, which is importing the snapshot to S3. In Ops Hub, we'll go to Manage Storage. We'll choose our local S3 bucket. And here we're gonna upload a raw file. In this case, this is happening off screen. I'm uploading an eight gigabyte CentOS raw image file. And you can see it's uploading. This takes a while, so I Fast forward until it completed and we see our CentOS raw image file. Now we need to register that raw file as a snapshot. So we'll go to compute. We'll click the snapshots tab and choose import snapshot. Here we'll put an import description and a snapshot description. We'll choose the role that we just created. And then we'll have to browse our local S3 bucket for that raw file that we just uploaded. Choose that raw file and then hit submit. So here's an error because I just blindly copied and pasted the policy. VM import cannot access the object in S3. So let's look at the policy we just created. We'll go to services, users and permissions. Go to the policies tab. And in the documentation, under the resource section, it has a default import snapshot bucket name, and we need to replace that with the name of our local S3 bucket. So let's delete that policy and create a new correct one. Go to policies, create policy, and here I'm pasting a correct policy content, which has in the resource section, the name of my S3 bucket, which is AMI import Ohio. We can name 
this policy the same thing, hit create, and we will have to go back and attach this newly created policy to the role we created. So we'll go to VM import, go to attach policy, and attach this newly created policy. Now we have all the required permissions for this import job to read from our S3 bucket. So I'm gonna speed through this. This is the exact same process of importing the snapshot. We will choose the role, choose the raw file, hit submit, and now we have a green banner. And in a second here, you'll see this import job pop up. It's importing at 3%. We'll fast forward until this is done. And now we have a snapshot on our snowball. Step four is registering that snapshot as an AMI. So we'll go to the images tab and click register image. Here we'll put a name of this new AMI image that we're going to be creating, a description, We can leave root volume the same, but down below in snapshot ID, we have the option of creating an empty volume or choosing the snapshot we just imported. So we'll choose the snapshot and choose submit. This process takes very little time and now we have an image to use. Finally, step five is launching the AMI. So we'll go back to Ops Hub go over to the Instances tab, choose Launch Instance. We'll choose the AMI that we just imported. We can choose the instance type, and then below is all of our networking requirements. When we're done, we can hit Launch. And now you see the instance is in a pending state. And because this is an image that I created in VirtualBox that never ran on AWS, we get this invalid state operation error message, but you can ignore it because you can see the instance is up and running. So let's review. We first prepared a raw image file. We then configured a role and policy for the snapshot import. We uploaded a raw file to the S3 on the Snowball. We imported that raw file as a snapshot, and then we registered that snapshot as an AMI and then we launched an EC2 instance from that AMI. For more information on the AWS Snow family, visit aws.amazon.com forward slash snow. To dive deeper into the full documentation of the Snowball Edge device, visit docs.aws.amazon.com forward slash snowball. I'm Jeff Maruszak with AWS, and thanks for watching.